that Florida does not do enough for preventing distracted driving. Florida does not do enough to prevent distracted driving, such as texting while driving. Texting while driving has clearly become an issue over the past year so as technology has become to a peak. Teenagers mainly cannot keep their cell phones down for a 20 minute drive home. Florida does have a secondary law against texting while driving, but it's rarely enforced. I have not yet heard of a police officer pulling over someone for texting while driving. Police officers themselves are distracted. They have two computers running as well as their radios. I believe texting while driving is just as dangerous as driving under the influence. Some people, however, believe Florida is doing enough for the issue or isn't an issue at all. Then why are people still losing loved ones from texting while driving accidents? The answer to that question is we're not doing enough. The state of Florida needs to buckle down and start handling, handing out pricey tickets to those distracted drivers. They are danger to the roads and pedestrians. I have never heard of police officers pulling over someone for texting while driving. Even though it's against the law to text and drive, Florida police, officers, Florida police officers do not enforce this law. For example, my uncle lives in California where it is illegal to text while drive and even make phone calls. The only, the only way you're allowed on the phone is if you have a headset. Officers will even pull you over at red lights for being on your phone. But the officers in Florida are just as distracted as us while driving. They have two computers, radios, and their phones. It's a dangerous habit that needs to come to an end by the help of our, our law enforcers. Families of loved ones who died from these car accidents try to speak out to other teens so they don't make the same mistake. No one wants to lose their loved ones because their text couldn't wait. We can both agree that teenagers are on their phones too much, but when put behind the wheel, the phones should be put away. Young teenagers are now faced with prison time for getting in car accidents while texting and driving. A teenager was charged with manslaughter and has to live with the fact he killed someone over a worthless text. Florida needs to start enforcing these texting and driving laws because some young teens ruin their lives and kill kills others. Flor Quotes. Florida lawmakers banned texting while driving more than a year ago, but critics say the law is worthless because even if an officer sees you texting, you can't be stopped unless you're also committing another violation like speeding or not wearing your seatbelt, says a government official of Florida. I believe the law should become first priority, and if a cop sees you texting, you should get a ticket. Some people believe distracted drivers are equally as dangerous as intoxicated drivers. Texting and driving has increased 25% in the past year, and deadly car accidents is in Florida alone. In conclusion, I think Florida does not do enough to prevent texting while driving. Florida law enforcers need to st start cracking down on distracted drivers with large tickets. No young teenager needs to deal with life in prison and the regret of killing someone. We need to be more like California and ban texting and calling while in the car, but only allowed if using a headset. Florida needs to take action. Distracted drivers are just as dangerous as intoxicated drivers. It might be a pain to pay a ticket for sending out one text, but isn't that better than carrying, killing a car, full of a car full of family? One text message isn't worth losing a life.